This portion of the video is sponsored by Inkbox. Hello, before we get into the video, I wanna thank this video's sponsor, Inkbox. So basically, these are temporary tattoos that last one to two weeks. They have over 10,000 designs on their website, but you can also do a customizable one. So like, if I were to ever get an actual tattoo, I would most definitely go to the Inkbox website and like do my custom one, try it out, see if I like it before I make the commitment. Maybe you're a person like me that has like no tattoos and you're like, hmm, if I did get one, where would it go? Or maybe you're a person that has a lot of tattoos and you wanna audition a new location on the body or a different style and you can actually like test it out before you commit. These are dope because you don't have to worry about sweating or showering or anything. Like they just stay on. Ordinary temporary tattoos will last like one to two days. So this one you get to literally feel and experience the tattoo without any of that commitment. They're skin safe, waterproof, and cruelty free. And they're made with proprietary for now ink, so there is nothing like them. So click the Inkbox link in my description. Thank you Inkbox for sponsoring this video and let's get into it. That portion of the video is sponsored by Inkbox. Good morning. Are you ready for some? What am I gonna? What am I gonna do to finish this sentence? I don't even know. Good morning. Are you ready for a vlog? Because this is what this is. It's a vlog, baby. Let's go. I don't know who gave Miss Girl the right, but she is coming in hot. Come on, Volcano. We're gonna meditate today, baby. So cool how these meditations are because they'll just like give you signs after i don't know maybe i'm reading too much into this stuff but i'm gonna take it as a sign so i'm doing my meditation yada yada and then i'm like laying there and i'm like i'm grateful for what i do i love what i do thank you god for this life and i open my phone to go on my like tagged stuff and i just feel the blessings in the air honey this girl tagged me in some stories just talked about like the real shit, like real shit that like pe guys probably don't know what girls do. I love this. And I feel good. Na, 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 na. To be honest, I don't feel that cute right now, but I still want to vlog, so I'm gonna do a face mask. I feel like I've never just like said it straight up before. I've been like, oh my god, I just like want to do a face mask for my pores. Why not just keep it a hundred? I don't even mean to be corny, but that girl. I just posted all those videos on her story, like why she follows me and recommending her friends to follow me and that she looks up to me. My whole day is made. Like for you to feel something so passionately that you're gonna put it on your Instagram story in front of all your friends and tag me, like that's kinda lit. Like what? Um, let me clean my house. I made a mess last night. I had a friend over, we had wine, we talked about boys, it was everything. Um, but we made a mess. I made a mess. So let's get that handled because I have this thing where if there's mess in the house, I feel like I can't get anything done. It's this weird mental roadblock that I have. Oh my God, look what came in the mail yesterday. Um, for the first time in my life, I am going to be a bridesmaid, which makes me kind of feel elderly. I heard that like once your friends start getting married, you start to feel old. Um, this is my bridesmaid's dress. I tried it on last night and she fits me like a glove. I do want to cinch her in at the waist a little bit because like, it's one of these slip dresses and it's hot, but when I put it on like right here, literally no one's there. Um, so I put it on, there's no one there. Okay, so I tried it on last night and it was hot, but I do need to take it to a tailor so they could really snatch it at the waist because I'm trying to look my best. But yeah, bridesmaid, what? I'm gonna be a bridesmaid? Like, what am I? I'm like adult age now. Like, I used to watch all those wedding movies and be like, oh, that's cute for the adult population. And like, <laughs> huh? Like I'm supposed to be a flower girl, bitch. Where does the time go? Turns out I'm having a full blown breakout, but I love breakouts because they keep me humble and in touch with reality, not really. I'm trying to find a, a positive in the breakout because I was low-key pissed when I saw it. I just got rid of all my acne, like literally, I don't know what happened to it, but it all went away and this morning it all came back. <laughs> so I'm like, miss ma'am. Um, I'm trying this new, this looks mad, I'm confused. I'm trying this new um, meal plan surface or whatever. Uh, I'll let you know if I like it. I think it's only like a local one though, so I don't think it could be cheap for all of you. But I'm trying this new meal plan thing because I get so busy that some days will go by 
And for the first half of my day, all I will eat is hard boiled eggs out of laziness to physically put things together. Um, and I cannot live off of hard boiled eggs. I need comida. So I'm trying this meal plan thing. Um, yesterday's was great. It was chicken and mac and cheese and broccoli. Obviously I left all the broccoli. Um, but this burrito looks massive, which is so confusing to me. I'm not mad about it. Oh my God, I haven't had my coffee. Uh, how am I still? Get into it. I did not have a good night's sleep last night. I don't know why this happens to me. Maybe you know. Um, I, I don't know, I feel like I have to time my water consumption strategically before bed because here's my thing. I don't like waking up dry. Like I hate feeling like I have dry mouth, like I need to be hydrated and like moisturized from the inside out. Like I'm very big on that. I like to feel, <laughs> I was about to say wet. I like to feel hydrated. So before bed last night, I had a glass of wine. So I'm like, okay, wine, I don't know what it is. I'll have one glass and it'll leave my tongue like, like so dry and I cannot go to sleep feeling dry. Cause if I get up to pee in the middle of the night and my Mouth is dry, ooh, like ew, ew, ew. Having a dry anything like grosses me out. So last night I'm chugging water before bed, but I give myself like an hour of wiggle room so that I could shower. And then by the time I'm done with my shower, like all the water will be gone and like I'll be able to sleep hydrated. It'll be great. But I guess I didn't time it well because I literally got woken up every 30 minutes it felt like last night to pee. And it was the most frustrating thing because I just wanted to be asleep. And I kept really getting waking up by my bladder. I think I have a small one. I think that's what my issue is, but I can't grow it. So what the fuck? I'm excited. I hope you're prepped. <laughs> Don't mind me. I just didn't want it to be like an ugly cut. You know, like I felt like if I got an, a small knife, it would be an ugly cut. And I feel like if I got a big knife, it would be like a perfect slice. Um, <laughs> Way. What? This looks so good. Anyways, I have been so social. I hope you're proud of me. I'm starting to like actually find a group of people and like be social and go to dinners and hang out and say yes to plans. I think my biggest issue in the beginning is that I said no to a lot. Like I would get invited to a lot of places um, and I said no to a lot. I also had to like trial and error some different groups of friends like Try this group out, not the vibe, yada yada. Try the next group out, slightly more the vibe, yada yada. Try the next group out. Okay, like we're getting closer. Like, So yeah, that's kind of what it's like moving to a new place, but I'm finally feeling like I've been genuinely enjoying like going to dinners and like being social. Um, here are some tips, I guess, for people that move to new cities or just people that want to make new friends. I find that the best thing that you can do is Listen more than you talk. That's it. Listen to people's lives, listen to people's whatever they got going on and talk about yourself the least you can. Like that is my MO and I feel like it's just awesome because you get to actually like get to know somebody, you can listen, you show them that you care, you're engaged in the conversation and you're not like sitting there yapping about yourself the entire time. And I find that that is the wave. So that's what I do. I like don't even talk about myself i'll just be funny and like whatever interject and like really let other people have the floor um especially because when you're hanging out with people that already know each other like they already have their dynamic set up so you don't want to like pop in there and then try to be the main character Ooh, nothing makes me cringe more than that um so go in there and be a supporting cast be a what is the one like the oscar not leading lady but supporting leading lady be a supporting leading lady bitch. it's everything all right i'm gonna Gobble me, swallow me, straight down the side of me, and I will see you later. <laughs> I am unwell. Why did I think it was a good idea to eat a burrito this early in the morning? I can't like wake up and shut my face. It's not authentic to me. Like I need time before I go off like that. I didn't even get through the whole thing. I didn't even get through half of the whole thing, but like, I feel gross right now. I don't think my stomach is ready for what it at 10 in the morning. No, no. Ew. Today is the day where I don't want to do my makeup. Literally at all, like every fiber in my being is like 
don't. I'm forcing myself because I have a Zoom, but I never do my makeups for Zoom. Not makeups. I never do my makeup for Zoom, but after that, I have to take an Invade that I like have to take because it's like the sponsored one. But I guess I'll see you in a second when I'm gorgeous. <laughs> okay, she's ready. I need to get better at time management. I need to get better at time management because it is now time for my call. Where the f is my laptop? Um, so I'm getting on a Zoom with my YouTube partner manager, account manager, something. I don't know exactly what it's called, but I know that it took me a while to get it because I was trying to get one for a while and then you have to have like a big enough channel. You have to have a good enough channel. And finally I do. So I had an initial meeting with her last week and she was like, you need to add end cards to all your video. I'm gonna hold you accountable. Make sure you have your end cards on all your videos. And I was like, okay. So I got my end cards up. Apparently that does a lot for like the video's performances or whatever. So I'm gonna get on here and talk to her and see what the tea is. But I guess she's gonna be responsible for like any questions I have, I can go to her and like, she's just like my point person at YouTube, which is so sick. Cause like if I have any like issues with my channel, any technical issues, she's gonna help me with them. And yada, 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 yada. Let me get on this call. I need to go, I'm late. Hello, we are going to a group workout class. I've been going to this one that's all girls and it's kind of fun because it helps me break out of being so awkward. Um, Cause like everyone there's my age and then you're kind of like working out together and then you end up talking yada yada and it's been helping me um get out of my comfort zone in terms of like talking to people my age and stuff and uh it's been good it's been good for me i'm gonna go there right now i'll show you my fit in a second i do need an energy drink of some sort because my bladder kept me awake all night okay this is the fit baby we have this top it's burgundy don't know what else to say about it really. It has like an under bra, which I like. And then it has like this like t-shirt look to it. Kind of cute. And then we have the black shorts that I always wear. Let's go because once again, I am late as I usually am to everything. I always say that, I'm so dramatic. I'm like, yeah, I'm late, I'm late to everything. Um, I always make it there a little bit early, but like if you're not early, you're late. You know, I'm very, I like to be punctual, okay? Like today I got to my Zoom at 12 and it was scheduled for 12 and to me that was late because I like to arrive at 11.58. I should feel like I have my life together. And if I arrive on the dot, I feel like a degenerate. So Capricorn things? I don't even know if that's a Capricorn thing. I don't know. Para la energía y vámonos. Why is this getting so weird? I have no excuse for you. Let's get in the car. Ooh, I'm making myself cringe. Mm. Mm. Okay, I know my energy drink was working because not only was I screaming the song at the top of my lungs on the drive here, but I would restart it if I didn't hit the note properly. And I did it like five times. And then if I didn't hit it, I would go back and sing it all again and yell it. And I just had the best time by myself driving on this car ride. But I am wired, honey. I'm very excited for this workout. I am. Um, I'm jittery too. I'm like, hee, I can't wait to go in there and work out. I promise I'm fine. Do, 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 date night. Yeah. That was good, right? Fire. Hello, we are going on date night. Um, he really thought this shirt was going to fit him and I just kind of come up, so. This happens all the time. I'm such a better thrifter. Like, I thrift stuff. This was literally $40. It's Nike, it's like 100% like cashmere or like wool or something. It's just cool. And like, it said XL on the listing and I was so excited. Not in the listing, not like it's a home on sale. Or whatever, you know what I'm, you yeah, know what I'm yeah. saying? And then meanwhile it comes up and now I get a new shirt. Now I'm looking like a doofus and Lauren caught a come up. I think I'm gonna wear it tonight. I'm thinking I just got this like long sleeve linen white crop top and this layered over top would be so cute. And then I think yeah, I need help picking it up. I'll just keep it. Yeah. Well, I'll wear it to the date tonight. Me. Ryu gave us for energy. <laughs> Hi, where is the place? I went to the seafood place that I found the other night, went with my friends, and the name of it wouldn't sound like it'd be anything special. Like, honestly, when the group chat said we were going there, I was concerned because the name of this restaurant sounds not cute whatsoever. So I go, and it's the cutest seafood restaurant ever on planet Earth. Like, adorable vibes. Modern, low lighting, like, ugh. On a Friday night, like tonight is, 
I want a very specific vibe. I want dim, low lighting. I want big restaurant, like sometimes on a Friday, I don't want those like cozy ones. Like I want a big one. Modern vibes, live music, if I'm lucky, it's called Buck and Rider. See, like if you heard that name, wouldn't you be like, what in the saddle ranch? But like, it's not, it's not. So let me do the same makeup that I do every time. And I'll see you in a second. Yay. Okay, don't worry about the bottom, just the top. School yeah. kind of vibe if you go with the- It's gonna work for that place because it's very like, well, show the people. Why don't we ask the audience? It's, I don't know if it's, no, it, I it's like giving it. me like private school vibe, but if I put some cool jeans and you wear that, I think we're gonna play off of each other. Yes. I just, I, I wish- We're gonna it, serve like an elite vibe. I wish um, I had the black Rick Owens, the ones that look like yes, Converse. Yes. Ooh, you gotta fly over here. Penny has an obsession with killing mosquitoes, but to be fair, they are everywhere these days, and we were not ready for that. I feel yeah. like I'm back in Florida. I feel like I moved to Arizona, and I'm chilling in like Tampa Bay, girl. How did I end up in Tampa? You got flies in the room, huh? It's cause like this, these, this rain, there's so many mosquitoes. I thought we were in a desert. No flies in my room. Not you having your own room. Yeah, that's really cute. What shoes? Oh. Blazers? We're doing full elite. Elite. Okay, this is what I ended up wearing tonight. I don't know what the inspo was here. I think I was trying to go for something groovy because I'm feeling groovy tonight. So I put on these funky groovy shoes and these pants that have this like flare bottom and the little V cut here, which is cute. The back of them is cute. I, it's just very like chill, neutral, but I added some details with the glasses. Okay, also want a subtle flex how clean my room is. Not you having your own room. Wow. I have my life together. Okay. You're not elite anymore. You switched up on me. I'm elite. I'm like elite gone dirty. That's not elite. No, I just look like I'm going to tutoring for no reason. We both look like we're going to tutoring. I added the nerd glasses. No, you <laughs> Not the nerd glasses. No, I'm, that's unacceptable. Oh, okay. This is not acceptable. You put a glasses and now you're like, I'm a nerd. It was like when the girls in high school didn't have anything to wear in Halloween and they would put glasses and dress. And like ears. Yeah, and then it's like, I'm a nerd, I'm a... It's like, no, girl. All right, we all know what you're thinking. Okay, let's go to dinner.